everybody, BG News here at Essence Field 2013. We're at the booth of Golden Egg Games here with the designer, Elad Goldstein. Hello. Hello. Uh, he's going to show us City Council. Yes, uh, this is uh, also a brand new game. Mm -hmm. uh, we just got uh, in uh, Wednesday. Okay. A bit of sweat. Yeah, <laughs> but it, it, it's here. Uh, this is a brand new game about uh, negotiation, politics, uh, such so in a new building, uh, city building game. Uh, in a normal city building game, uh, you're trying to solve your own solitaire uh, mode, or sometimes you will build, uh, you're playing the role of an entrepreneur that building, uh, uh, builds uh, hotels and something like that. In, in this game, each player will take a role of a politician. So the only thing that you can get is uh, your player token and your vote. All right. That's it. You need to manage to uh, win the game with your vote and your player token. Just that? Just that. You're starting with a deck of cards, which is a um, set of goals. Mm -hmm. This is your like political background. You have two favor cards. Those guys, those po you have six political uh, leaders in the city okay. that they have their own agendas. And they ask from you uh, a favor. In return, they will grant you power, influence power, and this will be interpreted in uh, victory points. So as the game progresses, you will try to accomplish the, those goals and make more victory points. Okay. By the end of the game, the player with the most victory points will be the next mayor. Okay. Simple, right? Very simple. Sounds simple. So uh, there are many, many, uh, this deck is a, uh, um, has many, many uh, cars that react with another okay. and react with the city. So every turn you will get two cars and pick one to choose into your hand. Okay. So as the city grows, mm -hmm. your hands of agendas per se uh, will grow. So you act like a true politician. In one turn you are wanting a, a new fancy factory okay. and the other turn you will want to close it. Okay. Like politicians do. Do so. Do so. Right. so this is how uh, the game in general, and I show you like uh, the very basic uh, how the game flows. All right. So uh, in a turn, uh, you have uh, several phases. You starting with the city committee's phase, where you basically start to feel about uh, how 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 we can um, do with politics. So every every uh, player takes the role of a certain committee. Okay. This committee will dictate the turn order, and also will grant you with. Um, with a small, special, uh, not so small, a special ability. Okay. So for instance, the treasury committee will give you the power to embezzle money from the treasury, of course. Okay, not such a small power. <laughs> um, no, but it can control, um, uh, it, it's not so bad, it's not evil, because you can take um, money from the budget, but you can, uh, you bring it back, but okay. at your own terms. So it's not so bad. It's not bad. It's at all. not so big. Uh, also, we can. You have different kind of uh, uh, committees, uh, and you play them out. Then you go to the main focus of the game, <coughs> which is the city planning. Okay. In the in the council meeting phase, you will uh, take your player token, and you will propose a plan for the approval of the council. Okay. So let's say I have um, this uh, nice people, and I want to. Uh, I want to uh, propose, uh, let's say, this, a school, a new school. You, you try to pitch it a bit because okay. you want others to, you will understand in a second. And he will want a police station because, and he will want a film. All right. Now everybody propose a plan. Now it's time to take a vote. Okay. I need to vote, but I cannot vote on my own plan. All right. Oh, this is part of negotiation. Okay. It pretty started at the start of the term, but it goes. So I will vote maybe to the police station, and maybe that player will vote for me, and this guy will also agree on the police station because okay. he cannot choose his own. So this is the part of negotiation. Top voted plans, uh, two in a three-player game that we are showing here, will be executed. We will build them in the city. And we will adjust. Uh, we have a, we will adjust accordingly the city budgets. We start with seven, and the, those two cost two each because uh, they are two costly. So we adjust the budget. Yes. So now we have two new buildings. We finish the planning phase, the city council phase, and we are moving for production. Now workers in the city want to 
work in the city. Okay. Of course. So you also can a little bit have control about this. Okay. In turn order, we will choose a building and we'll activate it so people can walk in it. So let's say um, uh, this guy wants to activate the shop. This guy, you need to supply the left side of the action with fully, so potentially they can produce the right end. Okay. So the white walker will go to here, uh, the white color walker, right? Uh, with, mm -hmm. And uh, this is how the game works. So we need another, it costs, it costs money to run a police station, right? Okay. right? So now everybody is working. Now we will check unemployment. You can see here that uh, this white walker cannot find work. But it's okay. It's not good. It's not bad. So right. nothing happens. In this case, only one walker, which is pretty much good. So another walker will come to the city and migrate into the city and will be available next turn. All right. After it, we will produce. Okay. We will shortly produce all our resources. So this guy come back and we gain money. This guy come back and we get a resource and another money. And this guy will come back and we get another money. Okay. And this guy actually can reduce uh, criminal activity, but he will get some community service for the city. Okay. Now we finish the production phase. We're going on to a quick monitoring phase where we compare uh, community services against uh, the good stuff, against the pollution level, combined with the criminal activity, which is the bad stuff. Okay. So right now we are uh, one positive, then another uh, worker will flock to the city. Okay. So this is how we will manipulate many things in the city mm -hmm. in a short span. This is uh, the turn end, you can score cards now and you can uh, uh, set in a new planning area for the next time. Okay. Things get complicated when a more complex building comes out after you finish the starting building because you have zoning issues, power plants, and uh, bigger buildings uh, will cause more emissions. So pollution becomes uh, hefty and uh, it becomes the field of escalation will go instantly in okay. this game. Does it take to finish a game? Yeah, the, the game uh, ends uh, when a player gets at least 11 points. So okay. it triggers game end. And also, if the deck is depleted, you don't have enough uh, cards to deal, then the game ends. Okay. Um, you, can, you have a variation that you can take it like a, a political brawl, All right. uh, two hours. But you, normally it's 60, 90 minutes. Depends on how many negotiations you will do in and this the period. The yes, yes, of course. Sounds a very interesting, very interactive game. Yes. Thank you very much, Alad, for the presentation. Thank you for having me. City Council, everyone.